Alright Josh here and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon BGC 2020 series. Today is going to be the last time we use this team. Um, it's going to be a lot better than I thought it was, to be honest. Um, like I said, like this team is solid, but it's very... I don't really like it in best of one. Um, our win to loss ratio is rather good and this is the only team I've used, so... If we win this one, we should be in the top 1000, which will be nice. Um, if not, it doesn't matter. I'm not really trying to ladder anything too much, so... Okay, uh... Sun is a little awkward. Not impossible, but a little awkward. The best... Uh, this, uh, this is kind of hard. Um, the thing... Because... Because, 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 because... You've got the old TR option as well. I, I kind of... I'm forced to go Dragapult Incineroar. Basically. Um, I, I actually have to go that. Just because it's the Elite Venusaur, they can just spam sleep and there's not really much you can do about it. Like, I want to bring Excadrill, but it's just... It's just not good. I've got to go this. I have to go this. Um, Rotom's pretty good against this matchup. And the other one, I kind of want to bring Excadrill still. Should I bring Excadrill? I am Focus Sash, but if they go full on Trick Room mode, I could be in big trouble. Like, big trouble. We'll bring it anyway. <laughs> Why not? Let's just do it. I when I when I was using AV Excadrill, it actually really helped with this. I'm pretty sure I could take a full power eruption in the sun. <laughs> uh, okay. Dynamax, I think, though. Was it Dynamax? I can't remember. I made it super bulky, that Excadrill. It was really, really good. Incineroar's going to be key here, by the way. Like, snarling and intimidating. You know, I really need to be careful with Incineroar. I can't lose it. Now, now, now watch me lose it. Turn one. <laughs> Guaranteed. Rhyperia Torco. Now that's a, a strange lead. That's very, that's very strange. I'm, I'm very surprised about this. Although, if you, hmm. That's a strange lead. I, I really wasn't expecting that. I am gonna Dynamax, um, and Wormwind, the Viperia. I'm a bit more scared of that than the Torko, although Torko is scary. <sighs> no, I, and I'll, I'll snarl. Just so Torko does a bit less damage. Oh, please be Venusaur. It's just Oh, oh, this is this is going so well. Double switch. Like, Duskops is going to take so flipping much damage here. I mean, it's not going to KO it, but it'll, be, it'll certainly be in range of a, a Phantasm after this. I don't think I could ask... I'm very... That's a very strange lead. I... I did, they, did they time out? No, they can't have done that. I'm pretty sure my period is at the bottom. That's very odd. And Toko protects. Oh, this is... This is... This is great. This is fantastic. I honestly couldn't have asked for anything better, really. This is so good. That's a lot of damage. I can just Phantasm and... I'll, I'll, I might as well Throat Chop, actually. Just, um... Oh, I could still Snarl. Wait, how much does this do to us, Clops? I'm just wondering if I put, if I phantasm the Torkoal, if Dusclops will be in throat trap range. I'd like to think it would be, but I, I don't think it's worth the risk at all. Like it's really not worth the risk. I might flare blitz the Torkoal slot as well, just in case um, Venusaur comes in, if that's the last. Show it Venusaur. Oh it's Charizard. Okay, uh, alright, this is this is fine. This is I really don't mind this at all. You could ally switch, but Ugh, this is this is this is great. Like everything I was scared of, my opponents just either not brought or led kind of incorrectly. Not incorrectly, but 
not ideally for them, for sure. I bet this does like this. Will, I bet this does half. <laughs> oh, that did more than half. Flipping, I consider all. Oh, that was a beast. <laughs> it loses so far. Oh my god, that did so much damage. I really wasn't expecting that. Flipping, heck. Can't consider all. Well done. That was a lot of damage, man. That's loads of damage. I mean, this is not over by any means. Um, so we still have to be still have to be careful. Um, I'm going to Wormwind the Charizard, and we're going to switch into Rotom. Extra drills looking so good, guys. By the way, so so good. I was really worried about this matchup, but um, yeah. So if my opponent led Venusaur, Torkoal, or something Venusaur, I would have just faked it out and um, air streamed it because at plus one speed, drag pull out speeds Venusaur, so that's good. The scariest lead would have been Venusaur Duskops because I'd kind of be forced to double into the Duskops to KO it, and my opponent could then we could potentially switch Torkoal into Duskops and Sleep Powder Spam. Dynamite Superior, not exactly shock there. We've seen that once or twice, everybody, I think. Um, it's going to be a neg one and we can intimidate again. We can also burn it with Rotom, so I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really not worried about it. Although, you know, right here is still, like, you can still, we, we're not out of the woods. Steel spike in, uh, right here, that's interesting. You don't see that very often. It's usually um, high horsepower or earthquake. Um, rock move. It's usually rock side, isn't it? Although I have seen a couple of um, rock wrecker ones. Torco might solo beam me here. I'm just going to dragon darts. If you have a steel move, though, are you really. I might protect. Does it really matter at this point? Yeah. I'll just protect. I, I really want to um, will o wisp that soul. Will o wisp the um, Rhyperior, just to really make it useless. It does not protect, so that was pointless, but if we lose Dragapult, whatever. I'll just bring Incineroar back in. Our next Kudril is kind of looking good to finish this up. That will be into... I don't think that was a good idea actually for my opponent to do that. Mm, well, it's because I'll, I'll... You know, you, you do get the special defense boost, but... You would have been taking less... Um, you're chipping away at your own talk hole. And <laughs> you've gone for Solar Beam. And... Um, <laughs> it's like I just fake out the talk all next time, which is really funny. And um, and yeah, Hydro Pump will do more. They really wanted to be going for um, Quake, though, I guess. Although they can't really touch Rotom by the looks of it. So this is right here at Neg 2. Obviously, this is kind of like a drawn out ending. It was over quite early on, in my mind. Like. After, even at turn one, I just, especially with Duskop Swash, I just felt so comfortable. Like it was really comfortable just to take this game. I will just will always. It might protect now. Um, I don't want to risk a Hydro Pump miss, and I don't want to proc its weakness policy at this point because you know it has got a lot of health still. <laughs> no Solar Beam for you. And Rotom connects again. Let's go, Rotom. Rotom's so well behaved. Like it's been really good on the channel, actually. Have we missed any? I usually miss so many. I feel like I miss every one, but playing on here, it's great. Oh, I do like this thing. Like, I, I, you know, I go through phases where I just don't play with it for a while, but when I when I play it, it just feels so comfortable to play this team. I don't know why. It's felt like it's just a syn I just really like the synergy of it. Um, I probably will use it again at some point. I just might change one or two things. I have some ideas of what to do. Uh, I'm going to snarl and um, I'm going to hydro pump the Torkoal just because 
yeah, I mean, it was over anyway. Um, just cool. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter what, what I did really then. As long as soon as Rotom hits a Hydro Pump, an extra drill hits a... That's the only other thing that could have gone wrong. Like, the, the thing that could have gone wrong is that, like, I missed quite a few Hydro Pumps, or I missed quite a few High Horsepowers, which is not... Uh, you know, it is possible. I, I would have played that out if I was a opponent, because I could still... Um, I could have missed the attacks, for sure. It was, you know, you never know. Way nine hundred and something. Nice, cool. Right, what were the what were the other music? Eternity's two was that one of the music I got? No, Champion. That was the other one. There's some music that people were suggesting. Thank you very much. There's number seven two seven. I think we're nine two seven, aren't we? Okay, what have we got here? Oh, this looks a bit sun again, which I don't like. So I again, I, I kind of have to lead Incineroar Dragapult. But I hate Clefairy. I really hate Clefairy. Clefairy's so flipping rough. Oh, Clefairy's rough. Um, Charizard's kind of hard to get rid of as well. So, not all the time, sometimes. It makes me not... I, I don't really want to bring Excadrill on this one. This is too rough for Excadrill. I mean, you've got Nine Tails and Charizard that outspeed it. Dragon Ball outspeeds it. It's not worth it. It's not worth bringing it. Rotom's not bad. It's not good, it's not bad though. <laughs> Serena's awful. I guess I have to go... Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring Togi... Like, this is... This is rougher than that, that last matchup, I think. I, I, I don't think I have any... Like, I can't bring Serena. Serena's just useless in this. Um, and Excadrill is just... It's just threatened too much, like... It's outsped by four things. If you include Venusaur in the sun, which my opponent has nine tails, so it will be in the sun, and it can earth power now. Who gave? Oh, it could also weather ball. That's it. That's another move Venusaur could have. Whose idea was it to give Venusaur earth power? <laughs> like, I love. I think earth power is like such a good move, but it's like so rare. There's, there's not many really a lot of Pokemon that get it that do. You know, like, oh, I don't like this lead. Or do I? Or do I? Um, because I can fake out Clefairy. It's just... Uh, it's just, what do I... Do, do they... Do I just attack it? Do I? I don't like doing this, though. But yet, here I am. Here I am doing it. I don't think Phantasm's going to knock out, but I'm doing it anyway because I'm a moron. And they win the speed tight. Oh, okay, this is just going to sort off. I think actually we just lose now. I'm afraid. Sorry, guys. That was my own fault. I probably should have switched in Togekiss. But alas... And we lose. Sorry. <laughs> this game. I should really play safer with Dragon Ball versus Dragon Ball, but I, al I always go for the speed tie. <laughs> I don't know why. I shouldn't do. I, I really shouldn't do. I, I do it though. I always do it. <laughs> it's just. Uh, it's just. If you win it, it just gives you so much momentum. It's like ridiculous. Oh, that was smart. Yeah, okay, that, this is really game over then. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was a good play. And it'll be Worm Winter, I imagine. Oh, it's Airstream. Uh... Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait, this isn't over. I don't think this will KO, but, like, it might do. Ugh, it doesn't... Oh. Ah, it's weak as Okay, listen, my Dragapult protecting is the most obvious thing on the planet. And I think you might go Wormwind into Incineroar. 
So, I could airstream into Clefairy and match the speed and go into Togekiss. I, I have to make like silly plays to, to get back into this. Like, you could just, yeah, you, I mean, you could just save probably. I really think you might Wormwind into Incineroar though. You, you, you don't have to. Yeah, follow me, obviously. We know that, but where's Dragapult going? Please go Wormwind into. Oh, I seem to have died. I seem to have died. Well, never mind. I, I, that was worth a try. I could have also. Uh, I suppose I could have switched track. <laughs> that was worth a try. I was. I lost so much momentum in the beginning. Them getting the airstream off is awkward. Do I live a plus two phantasm? I don't think so. I, I, th I think it's, it's well well over my friends, I'm sorry. I should, maybe I should have protected Dragon Ball, that was a very risky play. I should have played the entire thing better to be honest. Dragon Ball plus I really hate uh Yeah, I really hate playing Clefairy, especially with weakness balls to Dragon Ball as well. That, that's really, really tough. There's a lot of leads my opponent could have gone with here. I'm just trying to think who's going to be more useful in the end game. Rotom or um, ah, I, ju I, ju I just lose. I'm afraid. I can snarl. And I'll just switch into Rotom. Maybe if the Dynamax ends, I might be able to take a Phantom Force, the Togekiss. But I don't think it's over. Follow me, yeah. This will be Max Phantasm, no doubt. Which it is, bye bye Rotom, no way I'm moving that. Health bar flies down. Yeah, it's it, Dragon Ball is so flipping good. <sighs> I really didn't expect. Mm. Really? Uh, never mind. It's a shame to, to finish on a loss with this team, but like, my, that was a really good lead for my opponent. And going for Airstream was really smart. They, they would have actually, from, actually, because they weren't, because they were weak, they probably wouldn't have failed me with them. Um, helping Ham was smart as well. My opponent, my opponent had a great first turn. That was really smart. I didn't even think about helping Ham. I have to just hope for something. <laughs> I just lose. I, I, I don't know how to win this. Clefairy has Protect, okay. Phantom Force, no doubt. Yep, yeah, there's Phantom Force. Now, unless I live a plus two Phantom Force with Togekiss, which is not... It's not like the craziest thing. I thought I'm Crit Kiss, I'm not like super bulky. Well, I'm, I'm quite bulky. Let's see. I, I, I don't think... I think this is... This was over very, very early on, I, I, I think. Uh-oh. I didn't know you could help in hand with while you, you were off the field. Huh. Well, there you go. I learned something new. I didn't know it worked like that. It shouldn't work like that because every other attack misses it. That should not work like that. I've, I've never, I don't think I've seen that interaction before. That should not work like that. That's busted. Yeah, we, we just, I'm, I'm actually going to forfeit because it's it's, a, it's literally pointless playing this out. My, I just got wrecked here, completely wrecked. Yeah, this is a this is one thing about the format that's that's crazy. Like, di like I know there's been a lot of talk on on the, the old Twitter if you use it about Dynamax and stuff. I personally don't really like it because of yeah the snowball and effects like that. It's just you can just. Sometimes, like, one turn can just, you can just lose so fast, like that. We just lost really fast. But, um, like, in the, uh, was it in the last episode where we played, like, Colossal? Um, and I won the speed tag, and we just snowballed off that. Do you know what I mean? It's like a, I'm not saying every game's like that, but, yeah. That was a shame. Um, but good play from my opponent. The helping hand was really smart. Well, my fake out turn. I actually forgot how Clefairy even gets that. Clefairy is, is a real pain, um, to deal with. Um... And so's weakness policy drag ball. Like as you can see from my team, I, yeah, I have Incineroar is pretty decent against Dragapult. My Dragapult is decent, but I don't like 
using my Dragon Ball against opponent Dragon Balls. Um, I guess, yeah, Clefairy Dragon Ball was it was a pain. I, sh I maybe should have switched. Um, actually, even switching my Dragon Ball into it. Well, actually, was it that second turn where they attacked my Dragon Ball? If I'd have protected, that again, even if, if I've protected, like Snarl wasn't going to KO Dragon Ball. Might have put me in a little bit of a better position, but like. I could have maybe protected and then switched into Togekiss or something, but they could have just Phantom Forced. So, uh, Max Phantasm, sorry, so. Yeah, that was a little rough. A little rough, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I'm overall happy with how this team did. I think they had a pretty decent run with it. Um, on Monday, I will swap to something new. Um, I guess I could turn this into a rental team, if anybody was interested. It's not like the spreads and stuff aren't anything crazy. Uh, but but um, if you want, I, c I could uh, I could quite easily do that if you want. Um, I'll stick it at the end of at the, at the beginning of next of, of Monday's episode, should I say? Um, so yes, cheers for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all in a bit.